is multitasking, as we know, can in theory make us more productive, but it's also dangerous, especially when you're driving. Technology, though, is starting to catch up to your needs and your safety. Paul Hockman is a contributing writer for Fast Company magazine, joining us this morning with some new ways for you to stay safe behind the wheel. Good to have you with us. Thank you. And of course, there are so many restrictions, and, and rightfully so, for using a handset behind the wheel. So car companies are actually taking notice of this, working on some new technology. You got an exclusive look at something new that Ford has called MyTouch. Let's, let's take a look at that. Find an ice cream shop. Say a line number. Please say a command. Find an address. Set as destination. Setting destination. Classic Soul. Tuning to Classic Soul. <laughs> so there you go. So you went out, you did the demo. What do you think of this? Uh, it's actually miraculous. Um, I think anybody who's, I, I, let's put it this way, voice is what I would call is the new touch. Okay. Everybody got excited about touch screens because it was a more natural way to interact with technology. You just literally reached out and touched. Voice is the natural extension of that, and when it comes to cars, it couldn't be uh, at a better time. There's huge numbers of states now creating legislation. Right. Um, it's been proven that you're six times more likely than a drunk driver to get in an accident if you are texting while driving. Not than a normal driver. Right, a drunk and it's amazing, driver. just a couple of seconds of your eyes off the road, even a second, with the damage that can be done. So That's this right. is obviously looking to prevent that. Exactly. But people still have this need to, to stay connected all the time. Right. If you're not going to buy a brand new car, though, with this technology, you have some other options for us this morning that may be helpful behind the wheel. And the first one's for the BlackBerry. That's true. Now, the BlackBerry, the reason I bring it is because it actually uses technology which you can find in that Ford. The My Ford Touch technology uses something called Dragon, or Nuance Communications created. It's called Dragon Software. Mm -hmm. And basically, if you want to respond to an email, uh, you hit reply like you normally would with a BlackBerry. Up comes the software, and you say, Hi, comma, Erica. Great to see you. Thanks for having me, period. Best, comma, Paul. And in a matter of seconds, up will come. Exactly wow, what I just said. I don't know if we can get a shot of that, but that's exactly, that's exactly what I wrote. And it's fast, too. It's, it's an instance. And what's amazing is it actually goes up to a server somewhere else in the cloud. It doesn't actually do that on the phone. The Dragon software does that <clears throat> off the phone. And so that's an application you can download for your BlackBerry. For a lot of people, the apps are all about the iPhone. That's right. And the iPhone 4 actually has something that comes standard on it. You get it with the new operating system if you download that for an older version. It's called voice control. It's actually very exciting um, for those people who are interested in their music when they're on the go. In this case, in a bike, for mm -hmm. example, you can actually control the iPhone using your voice. Uh, without actually, uh, you know, in fact, reaching down to touch the device. Uh, in this case, say you're listening to music. This is Oscar Peterson. Right. I want to listen to something more, you know, something else. I hold down the button. Play artist Vienna Tang. Playing songs by Vienna Tang. So then it switches automatically. And if you and were, up comes Vienna Tang. You were showing me playing. earlier that you know if you're on a bike, hopefully you're not grabbing your phone. You can actually do it right on your headphones. There's a control there. That's right. This thing is exact. Act, this button acts exactly like that one. And this is the same. This is the same thing that if you're in the car, uh, you can use voice control in the car as well. Correct. And one other thing which I, th I kind of like a lot is called type and walk technology. This actually allows you I to. I need this. Now this is people think about danger, haha. In a car, it's not so. It's not so funny. On the sidewalk, they start to laugh, but it's not that funny either. A lot of people are injured. This I walked actually, into an air conditioner. It allowed you walked into an air I was. I dropped my son off at school. I didn't have any children. This with me, allows and I you did. to see what you are going towards while typing. So can we, that's wild. And there I am, right there. I love that. Uh, next so type up. and walk up here. A lot of people have a Bluetooth headset. This yep. is a new, improved version of it. This is the high-end one. What am I getting that's new? Uh, what you're getting that's new is software that gets loaded on this called the Jawbone Icon. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about it is it loads software on it that allows you to add uh, to send texts or Twitter messages or even Facebook updates just by saying so into the device. That's it I connects it. to your phone. The, again, the result is you so don't again, have to you're look down. you're never having to touch or to look down. Yeah, I, I, I love that. And by the way, a lot of these things are, some people think these are exotic. They're actually available at places like Amazon and other places, so easy it's, it's easy to find. Okay, and this is just a lower end, just a lower end version, a little bit more reasonable cost-wise. That's right. The misapprehension people have is they're going to have to spend hundreds of bucks to adhere to these new laws, 43 states and so forth. This costs $9. It's from Plantronics. Easy enough to get the headset and you get all the goodies that come with it yep. too. Great stuff. Thanks for coming in this morning. We appreciate it. Paul Hoffman, thanks. And